this is my first travel trailer video. Uh, that's where I am. I'm in the travel trailer right now. You can see kind of everything around me, behind me. Uh, it's early morning right now, so I'm kind of talking low and the air conditioning is running. I got here yesterday um, sometime in the afternoon and it was raining when we got here. We set up in the rain. It's raining right now and forecast for rain basically the whole time we're going to be here. We are at Nakalula Falls Campground in Gadsden, Alabama. Misting rain and we're going to walk from the from the campground over to Nakalula Falls. And from the campground, of course you can you can drive over because there is parking, but that's not what we're gonna do. Even in the misting rain, we're gonna we're just gonna walk over. Uh, that's our campsite and our camper. Uh, when it, whenever it's raining, your campsite always looks like trash. It's just a muddy, wet mess right now, and kind of oh, hanging out at the, hanging out at the, what? It's typically better. Yeah. <laughs> well, hanging out at the camper right now when it's like this. Uh, if you're inside, it's fine. But hanging out at the camper on the outside, not a whole lot of fun. So coming from the campground, you come down here to the park, and there is a bridge going over, I guess it's Nakalula Creek, I don't, I don't even know what it is. But there's a little bridge going over it. And when we get to the crest of the bridge here, you can see where the water goes over the fall, but you can't really see the fall from here, so. And right up there is where the fall is. I posted a picture of the legend of Nakalula, and it's really kind of a sad story probably a story that's played out a million times over, over history. The short version of the story of Nakalula goes like this. Nakalula was the daughter of a Cherokee chief and was promised in marriage to a Creek sub-chief in exchange for peace between the two nations. But she was in love with a warrior from her own tribe and couldn't bear to become the wife of a Creek warrior. Instead of being married, on her wedding day, she jumped to her death on the rocks of the Black Creek Falls, which were later to become known as Nakalula Falls. And the campground is right up there. And there's a, there is a trail that'll take you down to the water. We've gone down to the water and into the kind of beachy area down there. We've done that before. But it's a pretty steep trail to get down there. Let's see. That looks interesting. But as a backpacker, that also looks interesting. But today I go this way.
got onto more of a hiking trail. It brings us down here just about to the water. Uh huh. Uh, there are things that were. It's not really the heat. It's the humidity. All right, so I'll give you the quick tour. That's the entrance we use most often. There are two. The other one goes directly into the bathroom. The TV, which we really only use at night or rainy days like today. Uh, the couch, apparently, was where lazy dogs sleep. And then, uh, dinette, very close. Two bunks where the boys hang out. The refrigerator. The map of places where we camp. So this is a popcorn maker. Uh, and a couple of additions. The uh, ice maker. That's pretty awesome. And uh, gotta have a coffee pot. It's not like backpacking at all. Apparently is where dirty lunch dishes go. And whoo, it's bright. Uh, bathroom, that's good times right there. So we finally got a break in the weather and uh, had a really pretty couple of days and we've spent uh, time at the waterfall we've done some more walking we've walked around the campground and uh, we've had some family and friends come to visit because I'm not too far from uh, home and not too far from where I have friends so they, they came to visit didn't put them in the video I'm sure they didn't want to be in this uh, but the, the change in the weather has been a welcome uh, able to get outside and not just be um, completely soaked in rain. Sort of winding down toward the evening now. It's late afternoon. Uh, we'll do we'll do dinner here in a little while, and um, and then when we're when we're RV camping, one of our favorite things is at night just to go walk the campground and see the uh, the nighttime setups, nighttime lights and everything and everybody basically doing the same thing just sitting around outside uh, having conversation and uh, enjoying uh, not just some time off but this is it's almost like this RVing thing is almost like a lifestyle uh, just enjoying uh, this lifestyle for a, for a period of time um, today is Friday so the, the campground has started to just completely fill up it was uh, two days ago, it was nearly deserted with the weather and being midweek, but now uh, it's almost full. So this has been my first RV video, and I'm not sure how this is actually going to turn out. I don't know if I've really told much of a story with this particular one, but I don't know. It's a, it's a start. Uh, I'll probably do some more of these on some of our trips.
Man, that big breakfast was fantastic. The thing I didn't show you is we had biscuits and grits to go with it. Uh, just got the inside buttoned up. We've dumped the tanks. Uh, we're, we're finishing taking everything down, getting it all put back together, and we're going to be off. So it's been a good, what was it, four nights, something like that. Uh, it's been a really good time. Thanks for coming along with us. Squiddly's out. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you can you can click all that right here below. Uh, I'll, 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 wait, I'll wait right here while you go ahead and do that. I'm not hearing any clicking. There should be clicking going on.